Are you a super gun owner? Apparently, 3% of gun owners in America fall into that special category. According to a report first obtained by The Guardian, Harvard and Northwestern conducted an online survey of nearly 4,000 Americans. Of the approximate 265 million guns owned in the U.S., more than half of those are owned by 3% of American adults. With about 55 million gun owners in America, most own an average of three firearms, while nearly half own just one or two. But then there are America's hardcore gun owners, the super owners. Among these 7.7 .7 million gun-toting Americans, they were found to own between 8 and 140 guns apiece. So who are these super owners? According to the survey's findings, the majority of gun owners tend to be white, conservative males living in rural areas. This data comes as the percentage of American households owning guns has dropped to a near 40-year low. A CBS News poll conducted after the Orlando nightclub shooting found that 36% of U.S. adults either own a firearm personally or live with someone who does, down 17 points from the highest recorded rate in 1994. But how will this impact the presidential election in November? Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton is aiming to reinstate the assault weapons ban, which expired in 2004 under George W. Bush. She has also proposed ways to enact stricter gun laws to keep terrorists from being able to purchase firearms. In 2015, just last year, individuals on the terrorist watch list who were involved in background checks to purchase firearms were allowed to proceed 91% of the time. Republican nominee Donald Trump, on the other hand, has not presented any sort of policy on gun control. Trump has stated that Clinton wants to ban guns, disarm law-abiding Americans, and abolish the Second Amendment. False. Clinton has never called for a complete gun ban, nor has she ever said that she would abolish the Second Amendment. Fact. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.